Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 through 13, where it is written, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, if you know not the day or the hour. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And here is a pretty scary passage of Scripture. All the virgins are invited to the wedding. Um, They're all believers, so to speak. But half of them don't get in. The words are, are, ugh, I don't know you. Terrifying. We stop, we pause, and we really chew on this. It talks of prudence. They're all invited. Half were smart, half weren't. Wait a minute. So God's saying we're saved based on how smart and how prudent we are? All things in context. And certainly the Bible doesn't say, well, if you're smart enough, you'll get into heaven, or if you have enough common sense, you'll get into heaven. Rather, those who took the oil with them in the jars had common sense. So we could be there a long while. Let's take our duties seriously as a part of the wedding party. The foolish ones or whatever, casually, nonchalant, we're in the wedding party, let's go. The, uh, the um, application of the parable then is those who take the uh, Christian faith seriously as opposed to those who are cultural Christians. For the foolish uh, are those who are like, well, I'm Christian. I just, I grew up in the church. I, my parents took me to church as a kid. I come to church now. And they see their loyalty to Christ just physically sitting uh, in a building one hour uh, a week. I go... I serve my time. I talk to people. Yeah, I'm a Christian. They just. So, what do you believe then? Um, Jesus. Uh, can you be more specific? Uh, blah, 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 blah. They can't. You know what's sad? I heard a poll that one third, one third of polled evangelicals don't believe that Jesus was God. That's heresy. That's Jesus was absolutely God. So it's not enough to be one of these foolish virgins to just physically sit in a building an hour a week and talk to people and say, well, Jesus this, Jesus that. Nah, doesn't cut it. The wise virgins are those who take the faith seriously. Certainly they're in church. They hear the word and they chew on it that they devour it seriously. They take the the Eucharist and know they're meeting Jesus Christ, flesh and blood, right there, and they're eating and they're drinking. When the absolution comes, they pray and they're sorry of their sins, and they they receive absolution, confident that, yes, speaking the person of Christ, that the priest and the pastor, that their sins are forgiven. Those are the wise virgins. Not that they're earning their salvation, not possible, but rather they're taking the faith seriously. They hear the word knowing it's God speaking. They're taking the sacrament knowing it's God forgiving them and God being with them. God keeps them in the faith and they persist onto that final salvation of the resurrection of the dead. The foolish are like, "Mm, whatever. In fact, I think the foolish, many of them, uh, as uh, Christianity becomes not part of our culture anymore, just go, "Eh, whatever, I just won't go. Not that they're bad going, hey, let's do bad stuff because we can now, but just, yeah, whatever. Mm. The foolish virgin isn't so much just 
they have a low IQ. It's just they're like, man, whatever, I don't care. The why is it's not that they're super intelligent, but, but that they care and take it seriously. Now, trust me. I'm glad that everyone here during normal times in the building. I'm glad everyone who's watching this. That's not just a matter of what's on your screen. It's about taking faith seriously. For as our Lord says, Not everyone who calls me Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only he does the will of my Father. And that's only possible if you take the faith seriously. So you just that. Take the faith seriously. Let us pray. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. God, we thank you for your church planted by your apostles. We thank you for your word and for your sacrament. And Lord, we ask that by these things you work in us faith that saves and not just head knowledge. God, I ask Lord always in this faith. Amen.